All right, in this episode, we talk about Smith machines with the 3X program. Can you really power clean with the Smith machine? All right, Brent Porcio, Stephen Godani here at the at Top Velocity hashtag Pitch and Tips show where you go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Top Velocity hashtag Pitch and Tips, ask your question. We answer it on the show, and we'd like to say congratulations. Thanks for uh, helping us find Adam. We found Adam. Uh, it was uh, the, the guys who get the reward are going to be Matt Coffey and James. What's James' last name? I don't know. James from New York. <laughs> James, I'm sorry, buddy. We forgot your last name. James from New York. The, the man who came down pretty much all summer long and kicked butt uh, when Matt Coffey went home, right? Oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. But hey, you know what? I owe you guys a t-shirt. So when you come down this time, or when I go up there, whatever, uh, if I go up there to breathe baseball and work with uh, Justin Ottman, Coach Justin Ottman, I'll get you guys a t-shirt. They want me to sign the t-shirt? Yeah, they didn't want the David Ardsma signed ball. They wanted two t-shirts signed by Brent Porcio. Well, that was nice. I appreciate it, guys. I will do my best to sign it up for you. Okay, so what's the question for today? Alex Brown asks, all my college gym has is the Smith machine for squats and bench. Can I still expect gains? 400 plus squats, 265 bench, 245 clean. I have to say I'm a little confused because you said you can clean. Yeah. With the, what? <laughs> can we clean on a uh, Smith machine? Um, I don't know. So maybe oh, you have a barbell. Yeah. If you have a bar, I know if you don't have the rubber weights, that really sucks. Um, metal weights with it, you're gonna have to be careful. Um, don't drop it, right? Um, can you make gains? You're gonna be limited. In Smith machines, the problem with Smith machines is it takes out the uh, prior perception activity, you know, the ability to stabilize the joints, um, move the weight freely, it actually is not the best environment too, they say. Um, if we look at pattern overload, studies on pattern overload, if we keep the bar in the same path, uh, it's harder on the body. The body takes a different path every time. Every time they studied free weight movements, um, specifically with Olympic lifters, it takes a different path every time. That's the body kind of redistributing the loads and keeping the body from over fatiguing. So not a big, fan of things that force you into patterns. So I'm not a big fan of Smith machines and I know you will be able to have bigger gains when a Smith machine because you're taking away all the stability work, which is really hard. That's your body, body's ability to balance everything. And of course, the heavier the weight, the harder it is to balance. So um, no, I, I, would, I would recommend you find something else. If that's a gym that you can just, you know, you're going to be an everyday gym, you still need to break out on your performance and volume weeks and try to uh, really get into some uh, free weight training, uh, rubber weight training. I talked about in the last episode why we need rubber weights to, so we can drop, stuff like that. So yeah, if you're going for 400 squat, 265 bench, um, you'll be able to easily do it on Smith Machine. But, and you know what, that's a good way to, even a place to kind of maybe practice technique because it kind of helps you, assist you through your technique. But I definitely, that's not where I want you to test. I don't want you to work towards your maxes there. And of course, you're not gonna be able to clean there. So um, wherever you can clean, let's try to get into that environment. I talked about rubber weights, place you can drop, uh, a barbell, even Olympic barbells are better, thinner, spin better. Um, so easier on you, helps you with technique as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be your challenge. I hope that answers your question. Do you wanna add to that? No, I think you covered it pretty well. I was just going to say that, uh, the fatigue thing, but you covered that, so good to go. Yeah, um, I don't know, anything else we can kind of help Alex with? I mean, I want to see, can you send us a video of you cleaning the Smith machine? <laughs> That'd, be, That'd be awesome, right? 
I mean, anything you can help Alex out with, let's think. So if he's really stuck on a gym, and this is his school gym, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just like the other one we were talking about, the other options in the other episode where we were saying yeah. maybe even if you could go to a CrossFit gym and try to use their weights and try to stay away from their program, if you could just get a deal where um, yeah. maybe you could uh, just lift with their weights, be like, hey, I'm doing a different program, try to get out of their marketing and just see if you can use the gym, that would be that'd Yeah, be and go to US, or just go on Google and search USAW Find a Club, mm -hmm. and it takes you to teamusa.org, and they have certified gyms. Now these are just the gyms, not the coaches. Doesn't mean that if you don't see one in your area, because you can find your state and your area, they're still, go walk into a CrossFit, and I'm um, pretty, pretty sure someone in there is USA Weightlifting certified, meaning they're open to maybe guys coming in and, and working a similar type of approach like we do here at the Rick's Pitching Velocity Program. Um, but uh, that's a good place to kind of see if there's any gyms around you. Probably also, I'm sure CrossFit probably has a, a site that helps you, you know, find where it is. I'm sure. Um, so that, that would be my recommendation. If you're trying to find a gym and, you know, if you have to go off campus, you have to go off campus if your campus doesn't allow it, which is weird because you think with athletes, if you have a school promoting some athletics, those would be the gyms to get in. Maybe this is your student gym. Maybe you need to get into the athletic gym, which mm -hmm. would not have those kind of restrictions. So hope that helps. Yeah. Good question. Um, if you have a question, go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Top Velocity, hashtag Pitch Tips. Ask your question. We answer it on the show. And if you haven't already, go to topvelocity.net. Learn more about Thrix programs and how we train, uh, our lifting approach, our you know, proprietary throwing drill specific to our revolutionary Thrix pitching mechanics. Um, check out our Thrix Velocity camps coming up. We'll also be at the ABCA convention in Nashville coming up. If you want to come out there and check us out at the King of the Hill booth. All right, see you soon. Yeah. Holla, 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 we them boys. Holla, we them boys. Holla, we